Today, Forbes released its annual list of the world's most valuable sports teams. And for the third year in a row, soccer club Real Madrid takes the top spot as the most valuable sports franchise. It's worth over $3 billion. The magazine has been valuing teams in major sports leagues since 1998. And here to walk us through this year's rankings is Forbes senior editor Kurt Badenhausen. Kurt, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me on. All right, so walk us through this year's list. Uh, as you said, Real's uh, on top for the third year in a row, but the gap is closing. Uh, close behind them in second at $3.2 billion are a couple of iconic American sports franchises, Dallas Cowboys and New York Yankees, uh, both tied just behind Real. Uh, but the big story here really is the massive jump in the value of sports franchises, particularly the top trophy franchises. Uh, the average value of the top 50 teams is $1.75 billion, up 31% from last year. Uh, the, the minimum to make the top 50 is now $1.15 billion, uh, up from $856 million. And it's really TV money that's flooding into sports right now because it's, it's, sports remains one of the last uh, DVR-proof uh, sources out there uh, for advertisers to put their money towards. Let's talk about soccer here. Three of the top five most valuable teams are overseas mm -hmm. soccer teams. Why is that? And does social media play any role in that? Well, the, the top European clubs, uh, Real Madrid, Manchester United, Barcelona, they really have such a massive global reach. Uh, you look at teams in the NFL as well as Major League Baseball, they're really local uh, properties. But uh, the top European clubs, they're as big as Asia as they are in their home market. Uh, and, and social media does play into that. If you look at Real Madrid and Barcelona, they, also, they both have about 100 million uh, f uh, followers on Facebook and Twitter combined. Um, and you look at the 32 NFL teams, they have 98 million followers combined. Uh, Major League Baseball is at 66 million. Uh, and so social media allows those fans uh, in Asia, in Africa, in South America to really follow and connect uh, with their sports, uh, with their European uh, football clubs. Kurt, were you surprised in the top 10 you don't see any NHL teams or anybody from NASCAR represented? Uh, yeah, th those sports, they just don't generate uh, the kind of money that you see in uh, European soccer clubs as well as the NFL and MLB. Uh, you know, the big surprise for me that jumps out in the top 50 is the tremendous uh, growth of MLB and NBA teams, uh, both fueled by TV money, both on the local level and the national level coming into the sport. Uh, last year, you had 10 teams combined between basketball and baseball. This year, 22 made the cut. All right. Forbes senior editor, Kurt Bodenhausen, thank you.